Hello, I'm Nick Barrett. I'm a medieval historian. And so I was delighted to find here in Senate House Library a reminder of the ancient exchequer system of creating receipts for money paid into the king's coffers. My period is 12th, 13th century when the system was first introduced. These things are much later. These are known as tallies. And it was a very physical, visual way of giving people a receipt after they'd paid money into the king. These date from 1793. These are the stocks. And the way the system would work, you can see here, a piece of wood would be created and then it would be split. One part would be kept by the exchequer and the other part handed back to the person who'd paid the money in. And they'd be created in two ways. You'd have notches which describe through a system of grades how much money was paid in. And then there'll be writing on the side as well. This is a remnant from the medieval period when many of the people paying money in couldn't read or write. It was all handled by the clerics who'd had a classical ecclesiastical training. So this was a physical symbol that you'd discharged your debt to the royal coffers. Now, as I said, these documents, these pieces of wood, date from 1793. Payments made by accountants such as Thomas Ingram for the inhabited house tax. Large sums of money. These are for £5,000 or more. So why on earth, in an era where people could read or write, was this system continued? Well, in one sense, these things should not exist because the system of creating wooden tallies was decommissioned in 1782, 1783. But because there were people dependent on cutting these things for a living, it was agreed that the system would continue until they had retired. The Exchequer was a venerable institution and it loved practice and procedure. The roles it was creating in the 19th century were exactly the same as those in the 12th. And this is an example of that ossified procedure. So these things, by all rights, should not exist. They're 1793, 10 years after their requirement had stopped, they're still being created. So it's an amazing fact that they exist today. All the more so when you think that many of them were stored in the old Houses of Parliament. And they too, I guess, saw that this was a pretty ridiculous thing to do. So they created a big bonfire and chucked many of these records out. Unfortunately, the fire got a bit out of control and it burnt down the Palace of Westminster. So this is what makes the survival of these records in the Fuller Collection doubly fortuitous. One, they escaped the blazes of fires or disposal exercises, and two, they were created 10 years after they were meant to have stopped. It's beautiful, a very unexpected find in a library setting where you'd expect to find books. A reminder that record keeping and information can come in all shapes and indeed sizes.